Hi guys, hello and welcome to my channel. Kieran here. Right, today I'm going to talk to you about jobs. Um, basically, in life, you're going to need to get a job eventually. That's life. You need to earn money to get somewhere in life. You need to earn money to live in life. You know, I have four jobs according to the tax office, one of which I got through volunteering, one of which I got through family, one of which I got through college, and another of which I got on my own accord. The one on my own accord was Sainsbury's, and that was, I got, must have gotten that job in 2014, the summer of, and we're now in 2016. So I've been there almost two years at Sainsbury's. Um, the way I got that job, I was just applying online for loads of different jobs through uh, from restaurants through to supermarkets through to depots and that, that sort of thing. I was just applying for loads of jobs trying to get some income. I was looking for part-time jobs that I could work alongside of my college education. Um, and I was just looking for anything. Went onto the Sainsbury's jobs website and had a look on there, found that there was jobs going in the Melksham store, which isn't too difficult for me to get to. And at this point, I was I was running a Minecraft server network anyway, so I was able to travel because I had some income from that, which I'd then put that back in after my first payday. I'd put the money that I spent on travel back into the server, and then, yeah, so it got me started. Um... So I got that job, I applied online, got a phone call within like three, four days saying we'd like to, you to come in for interview. So I did, that was about a week later, I had the interview, I was talking to the manager that, I, that would be my manager on checkouts, um, and it just turned basically what managers like, what people that are doing these interviews like is someone that they can chat to, not be too formal. Some jobs, yes, you need to be formal, and yes, you do need to have some formal aspect of you, so go smart. I went in my old, my, uh, some suit trousers, um, shirt and a tie. Just make your appearance the best you can possibly do. Um, obviously on your application, make sure you Put down, don't lie on your application, but exaggerate the truth. So I had some like charity work that I did on there. I had my St. John Ambulance on my CV. All of that I have spoken about, but not given too much detail. So they want to pull you in for an interview so they can find out more. That's the truth of it. Okay, so... When you get to interview, be relaxed. In Sainsbury's and other jobs like that, there is a little bit of a test, like your math skills and that, because you're going to need it on checkouts, um, especially if you check out. So you're going to need some math skills and other skills like that. Um, and just be yourself. Um, yeah, that's all I could say about that, really, is be yourself and hopefully someone will take you. You will get shot down for some jobs. I was lucky on how quickly I got my job after starting to apply for places. I was bloody lucky. Um, and yeah, so you need to, don't get shot, don't get knocked down if you get, don't get a job. Because at the end of the day, you can apply somewhere else, somewhere else it will take you. It's that business's loss then. That's how I viewed it. I got declined from McDonald's of all places. And Sainsbury's took me. And look where I am now. I'm transferring to a new store. I'm progressing in the business. So, yeah. Um, and then jobs that you get from volunteering. Um, sometimes... A voluntary organisation may ask you, you know what, we like the way you work, 
how do you what do you think of working in this environment with this sort of client for this amount of money and that's they've chosen to try and employ you from the, how way you work when you're volunteering and that's a great thing if you're out there volunteering maybe getting some I can't get them out. Maybe getting some time credits in this area if you're in Wiltshire and other things like that. It can always progress into a job. I got my job with a charity called The Nature of It. Um, I don't do too much with them at the moment because my time is always taken up. Their time is always taken up. It just doesn't work out at times. But that's fine because I've got other jobs. But then I'm on their books if they need me. Um, and then I work for a nightclub, which I do over the weekend at nights, obviously. Um, that I got through my brother-in-law works there, so he kind of spoke to Wes, obviously. Over New Year they needed some extra help. He spoke to Wes and said I was willing to help. Wes took me in. And I, after New Year, I ended up getting a job there. Brilliant. Not going to complain. Um, and then my, I'm also a student ambassador at college, so I work the open evenings and such like at college. So really what I'm trying to tell you is job opportunities can come from anywhere. It doesn't have to be just from online applications. You can go into businesses, put your CV in, just make sure your CV is up to standard. Don't Sometimes, yes, you have one from school. Make sure you update it. Make sure you personalise it. Because you don't want the generic... Oh, what is it? Uh, you don't want the generic... I'm a good timekeeper. If you're 16, just come out of school, what have you had to keep time of? Getting to school on time? You probably had your parents waking you up. Not everyone, not everyone has that, but you've probably had your parents waking you up in the morning to get you into school. Whereas, because, so you haven't really had anything to keep time for. So if you're getting a job, you don't want that on your CV. No, 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 no. You're lying. You don't know if you're a good timekeeper or not. It's when you get into the job and into your first job that you know it. Or you can confirm it. So, guys, thanks for watching. It's been a little bit of a rant video on jobs, based on jobs. But hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. If it's helped you, comment. And just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of this face. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios.